Shalom, family of Israel. All praise and glory to the mighty Most High, our Creator, who is one God. There is none like Him. All praise and glory to Him. His power is magnificent, and He's getting ready to drop His power on me when I go into the courts this morning. I don't know if you know that I've been dealing with the case that took place back in October 18th, 2020, where two officers, Officer Hooper of the Series Police Department and Officer Grabel of the Series Police Department, beat me down in the middle of a parking lot for no reason at all, arrested me for no reason at all, threw me in jail for five days without being arraigned uh, for no reason at all, didn't give me my medications, my Tom Samolson that is a reducer in my prostrate for three days where I couldn't urinate. And then they drag me into the courtroom. They say to me, pay us $1,500 for anger management classes, go to probation for three years, pay the courts $400 in fines, pay us freaking money for something that I didn't do. So every morning or every month or for the last, I don't know, two years next month, I'll have been to this courthouse at least 24 times in two years, at least. That's probably more than that. All right, for something illegally they did. The problem here is, folks, is there's three camera angles out there on that storefront. There's one on the left side, there was one on the center, and there's one on the right side, okay? Three angles to the storefront that morning, okay? Only one angle was turned in on the left side. There was a tree in the way over here, and you couldn't see anything that was going on. But they didn't turn over the one that points right down and veers straight down on the parking lot where everything took place. They didn't turn over that evidence. That's called withholding evidence. That's a 135 penal code right there, withholding evidence. Then they tampered with the evidence that they turned over. That's a 141 uh, penal code. So now they've tampered with evidence, they've withheld evidence. The judge looks at me and says to me, Mr. Carpenter, if you're trying to embarrass the courts, I think that you should probably consider finding yourself an attorney, right? Well, check it out. I didn't want an attorney. She says, so I'm going to appoint you an attorney. I said, I don't want an attorney. She said, well, I'm going to appoint an attorney and he's going to talk to you and he's going to see if you are competent enough to move forward with your case. So she appoints the attorney. He comes in and, and then what I do is be before this, I was trying to run all my case and everything. I'd been running the case myself. For the first two months, they had a public defender. I fired her. And then I was representing myself for like six months. And then I was, try I was trying to uh, get the paperwork filed to get a subpoena. I asked the courts for a subpoena. I want a subpoena so that I can get those two angles to the other side. No, the courts never gave it to me. No, we don't do subpoenas like that. Oh, let me, you, you sound like you need a little help. Let me appoint you an attorney. So they appoint the attorney for me, Nils Zintek. They appointed him as a stumbling block because Nils Zintek, he had six months. I asked this man to recover those video footage for six months and he told me, uh, I don't think we need it. No, nah, it's not. In the first month is you, you really don't need it. Second month is, uh, yeah, I don't see what it's going to do for your case. You have everything you need. You got a strong case here. You know, you don't need it. And then another month went by and I said, look, man, I want it. I don't care whether you want it or not. And he says, okay. And then I show up. He didn't have it. And then he turns over evidence. He, he allows me to see all the evidence, right? So I'm going to break out my phone. And I'm going to start recording it, man. I grab my phone. And he goes, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm going to record this. And he goes, oh, no, you can't do that. That's, that's state. Well, hold on. That's my case. That's my defense. So the public defender doesn't do anything for me. Nothing. Zero. He doesn't recover the camera. Feed. He just, all he did was get me to dismiss my freaking, uh, my short trial rights, man. My trial will be done within 90 days. Now I'm at two years. And now they're still going to be using COVID. I'm going to walk into that fucking courtroom again. And I got to look at all these fucking beasts, these fucking demons. Why do I say that? Because they're liars, folks. Every fucking one of them. That public defender didn't do anything. Listen. You need to start defending yourselves, people, in the public, because I don't give a fuck how good your case is, man. That public defender is going to try to, he is going to do everything he can in his power to get you to plead out. He wants me to plead out. The night that we interviewed, he looked at me, he goes, but you did resist arrest. No. I didn't fucking resist arrest, motherfucker, is what I said to him. You tell me what I was arrested before, before 
I resisted arrest. What was I arrested before I resisted arrest, huh? That's what I want to know. Oh, silence. I asked the prosecution, what was I arrested for before the resisting arrest? Silence. I did an interview with one of the witnesses at the prosecution's office that was recorded by one of the police officers. That evidence was to be turned over to me. Was it turned over to me? No. Now you got Judge Israel's fucking cunt face, bitch. You hear me? You fucking cunt face, bitch. Lying out her fucking teeth. Fucking blocking. Not looking at the information, turning her face to it. Oh, I can't look at it. We can't talk about this. We're in a COVID pandemic right now. We got a lot going on. She's lied to me three times. So you get it? When you lie to me, to my face, you're going to get it. You're going to get it today in the court. You ain't going to get any profanity, but fuck you. You're a cunt in this fucking, I'll tell you straight on my channel, that's what you are. You're going to get it. You guys are going to get called a liar today in the courtroom, man. I'm going to look at all you. I'm going to call all of you liars. And there ain't anything that you can do or say about it because it's the truth. The truth is walking in the courtroom, folks. And I'm going to fucking hammer anybody who tries to lie against me. I'm going to slice and dice you people up metaphorically in front of a jury of 12 members. You guys are crooked. You lie for a living. You lie. You lie for a living motherfuckers let me show you something real quick revelations 21 8 according to church of jesus christ hate for the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and be murderers and see whore mongers and de sorcerers and idolaters and all the liars shall have uh, a heart in what? The which burneth with all the what wisdom, which uh, is the what G death. all the fucking liars all you fucking liars, any of you who fucking try to stand against me with the truth on my shoulder are going to get fucking crushed. I'm going to curse you in the Creator's power, my Lord's power. Your children, if you keep trying to push this case forward, will become ill. Who means the most to you will fall in sickness if you keep pushing this shit on me. I'm coming for you liars. The Spirit of God is coming for you liars. Repent, quit your fucking jobs, and walk off that bench, you fucking lying whore. I'm coming for you motherfuckers.